The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. Got it on the tee. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi Stadium. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Smith. And he's got the speedster Goodwin. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And they'll run. It's Ken Walker. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hot 70, hot 70. Ready. Sticking with Walker on second down. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. One to six. Walker now on first and 10. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. A first carry of the ball game for D.J. Dallas. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Okay, ready. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. 70, Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. He's a little too aggressive there from his Mike linebacker spot. Sometimes you jump into gaps trying to draw them off sides. This time he tricked himself. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. A quick throw out to lock it. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. With these run-pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first, because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands 
and let them make the big plays downfield. They go backwards there in two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Now he's got it. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, the game the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. They snap it to Smith. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you, somewhere along the way, the head coach said, Let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Taken in at the three. And nowhere to go. He only makes it to the five. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. Throwing on first down is Lance. Right side, and he finds Gray. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. Defense gives up a touchdown in the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Here, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Throwing now is Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Ready. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, it's exactly what you're looking for. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Lance on target to Samuel for a nighter first. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Ready, right. From the 32 now, right. here's first right. and 10. Ultra. Ultra. Hey, hey, They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Okay. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It was Jamal Adams up from his safety spot to make the play behind the line. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. Ready? 
second down and right back to McCaffrey. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And got his man complete. Touchdown 49ers. George Kittle, 67 yards. And the 49ers are an extra point away from drawing level. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Okay, break. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And as the offense begins another drive here, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that part. And it's intercepted. And the Niners are going to take possession here at their own 33. So a nice play defensively by the rookie here coming up with the go. INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round hey, impact. Go. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. First play of the drive going for 14 on a first down. That time a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? his way forward to about the 48-yard line. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Ready. Yellow. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Ready. Ready. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 44. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and get the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And hey, when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's got Rome. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That's caught by Devo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A 14-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here.
after the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Ready! Open 19! Clear! Clear! Sticking with Walker on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Dragon 60! They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Ready? Here we go on fourth, Smith. He's got his tight end fan. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. Give them 18 on that one. And that'll be good for a Seattle first down. Running right, here's Walker. And he's got some space here. There he goes, right side. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Kenneth Walker, 50 yards. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Myers connects on the PAT, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Here we go. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Lance going to throw. Throws the L out and completes it to Samuel. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. Ready? 
that he they'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield a big third down pickup of 20 yards but just a simple tap pass, but it, it pays off in a big way. Ready. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems hey, for a defense here. because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage in here. They got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Let's go! Black Ultra! Now a play fake. Lance. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Danny Gray. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Now gold for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Got a little antsy there from his Mike linebacker position. Partner, there's times you think you've timed up the quarterback's cadence. You think you've got a read on it. He might have thought it on that play. He was wrong. Now Gino. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. The final shot here before break. Smith. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Moore. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. 
great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down go. tracks towards go. the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Ready? They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. He takes this for three to the 29. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his lance on third down. That's complete left side to Gray. Touchdown, 49ers! In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Gold to add the extra point. Now before they can try the extra point, a flag comes out. And they're going to get tagged for a delay of game. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now a slightly more difficult attempt here from the 20. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Here we go, here we go. Fifty bicycles, fifty bicycles. They'll run with Walker to begin to drive. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now for the 29. Sticking with Walker on second down. And this will be a Seahawks first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Trying to left side with Walker. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. They'll try the air now with Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is caught. Touchdown. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. And that one spanning at even 65 yards in the air, according to Next Gen Stats. Extra point up and through by Myers. And they're within seven now at 28-21. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. Right, right. Thank <laughs> you. 
McCaffrey on the counter. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun on third down, Lance escaping the pressure right. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second on, half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It was Eric Armstead coming up quickly and dropping him for a loss. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. For the first play of the drive, oh, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. After the run, Smith going to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly now. appears to be ready for him. Come Try and get it back team. little by little instead of in big chunks. Great, great. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. The extra point now coming from Myers. 